Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. I recently attended the IMTS show in Chicago. It's held every two years there, and IMTS stands for International Machine Tool Show. About a year ago, I went to Fabtech in Chicago and made a similar video. I'll put a link down below on the side and the top or somewhere, but there'll be a link. Click on that and you can kind of see what I got a year ago. So let's go through the bags and see what we got. First of all, there's always a company that gives out nice bags and you carry all your swag around there and this is no, no different. So this, this kit here is for drag chain. I'm thinking about getting a CNC router and I talked to these good people about drag chain. I'll show you this at the end of the video. It's got a lot of nice stuff in it. So let's just pour it all out and see what I got. Like I said, this is a nice bag. It's got a pocket in the front, pocket in the side. At the show, these are really nice because you can put a bottle of water there and carry it as you go. I got quite a few of these bags and I'll keep this one. So let me just take a minute here and put everything in kind of categories and we'll come back and see what we got. So I went through the pile and these are all the fluids. So these two are interesting, they're sanitizers. This one's a pump. And I have a friend who's really into sanitizers. So that will be a gift for him. Now here at Tap Magic, these are great cutting fluids. And I have never bought any Tap Magic since I've been going to these tool shows because I get enough that lasts me till the next show. And these three are spray lubrications for aluminum, non-ferrous and ferrous materials. From the good people at Sterrett, got all-purpose lube, prevents rust and lubricates, and this is great for all my Sterrett tools I get at flea markets. Another little sanitizer. This unique device is measuring for fluids. So you can fill it up, looks to me to be about two ounces. That will come in real handy when you're adding whey lube and adding cutting fluids. The next category here are flashlights. And these are nice to keep in your vehicle or onto your tote bag. I'm going to put that in my gift pile. Now a tape measure. It's nice to keep a tape measure in your vehicle because you never know when you're going to run into your super ultra mega big box store and you have to measure something. So I really like these tiny little tape measures. Keep them in your glove box, keep them in your car. Now this is a tape measure with a spirit level in there. This unique item is a keychain, a fingernail clipper, and a bottle opener. That's surely a keeper. Now this company is giving out samples of extruded aluminum. And I always wanted to make an extruded aluminum enclosure for my 3D printer. Talking to the sales rep there, you can order right from the company. You don't have to go to your local distributor. So it's one call, one email, and they send it out to you. I'm gonna be checking this one out. Lock line is there every year and they give you this little keychain for lock lines and I use these for various things. And I'll put this into my lock line collection. I know this has nothing to do with machine tools or tools and has no use in my shop, but this is a potato peeler or a carrot peeler. That's gonna make a nice gift for someone. Now these rulers are real nice and handy because you can put them out and you can measure something in the ceiling. You can just kind of hold it up and they don't fall over like tape measures. Pretty handy. It's really nice to have these small screwdrivers because usually a set of screwdrivers is too big. And sometimes you have to pry or get into there. That's handy. Yes, I have plenty of Allen wrenches in the shop. I never have enough in the basement. That's where this will go. I keep a digital caliper in my truck. 
for when I go to the Super Ultra Mega Bigger box store. But every time I pull it out, the battery's dead. Not with this one. It's solar operated. These are nice magnetic clips. You can use them on potato chips, or you can use them to hang up blueprints or notes around the shop. And they seem to come in every color. This company was quite proud of their machines. And it's a little piece of aluminum. It's got a turn, a couple diameters, and a hex. And it's a keychain. Well, I thought, well, this is going to go in my stock. Never know when I need to make something out of aluminum. I'll just use this. Free aluminum stock. So if you have a cart vise, you might be familiar with these. These screw in to the holes, half inch 13. And they keep chips from getting into the holes on your vise. And this is a hex, and it helps remove the bolts on your vice jaws. These are handy. This is pretty handy in the shop. It's a back scratcher. I won't have to look for my big screwdriver anymore. I think that will do a good job. This is a multiple charger. It's nice if you have friends that come over and don't have the same cell phone as you. You can borrow this to them. Plug it into the wall, and they can charge their cell phones while they're visiting your shop. Luggage tag. That's kind of nice and pretty. Be easy to find that on the carousel at the airport. Six-inch scales. you have enough? I'm always misplacing them. This thing is a bottle opener, and it's got, like, rubber on the bottom. Maybe kind of better if it was a magnet. It would stick right to your refrigerator. Always like these cleaners for cleaning your glasses or your cell phone. I'll put that in the gift pile. What's a tool show without getting a can koozie? And mouse pads. Now I can keep one in the shop and I can keep them with my laptop. I thought this was a coaster and that's why I picked it up. But it's like reusable bubble wrap. It's a thing for fidgeting. I thought maybe I'd pour some acrylic in here and make a coaster for my cup out in the shop. And, spe and speaking of cups, got this nice stainless steel one. Even has a little closure on there, so you don't spill. I think that's gonna go in the gift pile. This unique device, you open it up, comes in its own carrying case, and it's a stainless steel straw. How cool is that? Everybody's trying to save wildlife and use less plastics. Well, here you go. That's going to be an air gift. In this box, it's a cordless cell phone charger. So remember this box from the beginning of the video? It's a pretty nice company. They had a very nice display, and I told them I'm looking to get a CNC router, and I need drag chain. Well, they gave me this kit here with samples of drag chain. I mean, look at this. How cute is that? You know, you go to the Maker Fair, they make a nice bracelet. I'll have to keep that one. But they gave me a demonstration there and let's see if I can do it I mean look at this piece of drag chain let's see if I can use the screwdriver they gave me yep and you can just pop this open here and then you can put your wire in and they give you a sample of wire look at this bundle of wire here so if you don't know what a drag chain is on a machine like a machine tool you have cables, airlines, coolant lines, whatever, and it manages your wires and keeps them from getting tangled and from breaking. And as the machine moves, all your cables and wires and hoses move right along with it. This is a really nice kit. Wish I knew how to get this top one apart. But anyways, if I don't 3D print my own chain, I might just use theirs. Very nice. 
Very nice display. And look at that. They were very generous with their time and with their display here. So I really thank them. So with that, this is MKE Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in today. Please support my channel by subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.